Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Louis T. Wigfall. Today we're learning to play Audio Slaves Light My Way for Wolf and for you, and because it's the right thing to do. Per Mr. Cornell, this is the first Audio Slave song that was ever written, so that's cool. First things first, put your guitar in drop D. I was giving it a listen, and I thought it went like this. Drop D-style power chords, so the same fret on the fat three strings, the D, A, D, the dad strings. Three open. 10, 12, 10. That's what it sounds like, right? But thank goodness I watched a video of them playing it live. It is not indeed three open. It is three slide frantically up to 15 open. And that slide happens all in the space of time that that note would ring out. So, slow motion. 10, 12, 10. Three, five, A string, third fret. Just a single note there. Actual speed motion. You don't have to go all the way back down to three when you're up here anyways. I did once, I didn't another time. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. Just depends on how much of that you want to put yourself through. Talk about Tom Morello, you know, taking every opportunity to traverse the entire fretboard. Perfect example. The verse is awesome. Grab the A string, fifth fret, and the G string, seventh fret. Again, listening, thought it was just a single note watching it live. It's an octave chord. So A, five, G, seven. We're gonna take this shape, then we're gonna move it up three frets, and then we're gonna move it down to the third and fifth fret. So the A string will be five, eight, three. Get your wah pedal going. Start on the fifth fret. Okay, here's the beginning, ready? Five, eight, three. That's the verse. That's it. <laughs> You're gonna head into the bridge out of the chorus, which is the same as the intro, but it's gonna end a little differently, so... drop D style power chord on the seventh fret, pluck around on those strings. 10th fret, this is crazy. E6, used to be E6, A9, D10. And then we're gonna need an extra string for the fifth fret, it's gonna be five, 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 four, definitely a major third in that chord. So, seven. up into the second time. Six, seven, ten, six, nine, ten. You can kind of make it as you go and then land on five as we go into the, well we've already called this the bridge so we'll call the next part the breakdown. This is the chill part where bass is going guitar just filters in with a one strum chord routine. It's gonna be D minor. I believe D minor seven, that is from the baby E string up towards the sky. One, one, two, open. And then C, back to D minor. So four chords, the first and the fourth are both D minor repeat. D minor, D minor seven. part picks up, it's 10, 12, 10, 12, open. A whole bunch of times, then you go into your last chorus. And at the end, three, five, six. What a note to end on, but that is how you do that. Thank you so very much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.